indeed. Um, we have a couple of questions that I see uh, Jamie Keaton from AP. Jamie? Uh, the last we heard sure. was 84,000. So you, you said 88, I believe. Could you just tell us where you're going? Uh, we would like to provide an update on the current situation of, the, um, of over 88,000 refugees who have arrived so far, with over 63,000 currently uh, already uh, registered by the government of Armenia. The numbers are increasing as we speak, and, um, and the needs are also really increasing. When uh, I can answer my question. Yeah, I think Ms. Balani is still on the line. Ask your question. Uh, UNHCR, uh, 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 I was going to ask that before. Uh, if she well, it's very difficult to, to say how many would come. I mean, when, you know, our, our planning figures as the, as the UN and the humanitarian community here is uh, from 70,000 to up to 90,000. Uh, it's more, right? We are ready to serve. I mean, obviously, right now we are dealing with over 80,000. So definitely that figure needs to be adjusted as well. But we are ready to cope for up to 120,000. It's very hard to predict uh, how many will come at this juncture. The, the situation is evolving so quickly. People are tired. This is a situation where they've lived under nine months of blockade. It's not something that has just happened where you pick up and you go. They've suffered nine months of blockade already, and when they come in, they're full of anxiety, they are scared, they're frightened, and they want answers. They want answers as to what's going to happen next. Would you just stay with me for a second? Lisa, I'm sorry, I didn't see you, and I see John Zarakostas as well. We have heard the number from the colleague of UNHCR. Approximately 30% of those are children. And um, the major, major concern for us uh, is uh, that many of them have been separated by their family. The, the journalists can have a good stab at asking you some questions. Thanks. Yeah. So the situation is that families are arriving with children that are so weak and even fated in the hands of their parents, or so for some of them, are dropped straight away in the hands of the Armenian Red Cross staff or a volunteer. Come to our next topic, which is uh, no less important. Another important element of our work right now is working to ensure the dignified management of the debt. The local infrastructure didn't have the capacity to hold such large influx of, of bodies in, that we have seen in the recent dates. So just yesterday, we transferred nearly 200 bodies, people who died from either the accident this week or the recent fighting. Going forward, a big part of our work will be for ensuring that people left behind are cared of. Uh, we had been planning for evacuations to be a longer process. The evacuations this week have, have gone very, very fast, very high numbers of people, but as a result of that many people becoming stranded. So hospitals, schools, etc., in that region. Just mentioned the 200 bodies that you've um, recovered. Um, 